Hi, I'm Rody for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The new Pixel Fold and tablet are here, so now it is time to start optimizing your apps for these large and folding screens. There's a lot of new tools and APIs to get started with. There are three important design principles you could follow to make most of the large screens on Android. There's two pane layouts to display content across two columns, showing you more content across the unfolded larger screen and allows you to do more without extra taps or losing context. App continuity on foldable phones ensures apps easily transition from folded to unfolded orientations. Responsive layouts resize content and controls when the screen size changes, such as when you use two apps in split screen mode. You can learn more on the Android developers blog. Next, we can head over to the web to talk about the new keyboard lock API. If you've ever been playing that game and you try to close a game dialog with the escape key, you know how frustrating it is when it breaks the immersion and leaves the full screen experience. With the new keyboard lock API available on the navigation.keyboard, you can now lock and unlock to capture all the events. If the user presses the escape key, they'll just get a dialog that says they need to press and hold escape to exit. You can learn more on the Chrome developers blog. Also on the web, there are new privacy sandbox demos to check out with over 20 APIs to protect people's privacy online and to help give companies and developers tools to build thriving businesses. All of these demos are open source and include lightweight infrastructure scripts bundled as container images. You can run all those demos locally with Docker or deploy to Google Cloud. There are even Google hosted instances for everyone, including those who are just simply curious and want to start learning and experimenting. You can learn more on the Chrome Developers Blog. 2022 was a successful year for the Google Vulnerability Reward Program, and they identified over 2,900 issues. They awarded over $300,000 in prizes and over $12 million to bounty rewards to researchers. All of these reports help improve Google Cloud products, which can help users, then customers, as well as the internet at large. You can learn more about the top seven prizes won on the Google Security Blog. To learn more about all these week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Rody for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. All of these reports help improve, <coughs> help improve. Uh, one more time, yeah, thanks. <laughs>